Hi creative friends! So I am back and I wanted to show you this really cool resist technique. So I tried it in another video because I did it by accident off camera. I tried to do it in the last video. Um, I'm not sure which is going to come first, this one or that one, but um, it didn't really work. Um, and I figured out why. So this is what I tried to do. I tried to do this resist that I did by accident um, in a piece that I was making the other day using Distress Oxides um, Distress Microglaze and Patty Pocket Stains by Patty Pockets. And um, what I did was I used the oxides I used, and then I covered it with the glaze and then I used the Patty Pockets on top to see what would happen and it created like a resist and it kind of had a look to it that I've seen before when Miss Robin McClendon used, um, I don't know if it was, I'm trying to remember, I think she used oxides and paint on the jelly plate and then used the patty pockets and it kind of did the same thing, but um, it kind of looked similar to the reaction that I got, but I'm, I tried it with the glaze and anyways, long story short, um, I tried it again and it didn't work on this one and I think that's because I didn't use enough glaze and I wiped it all off. So I tried it again off camera and used a lot of glaze and some of it I didn't wipe off. And so that's the key here. And you wanna leave some white on the paper as well because it does help it show up better. And you get kind of a look like this. Now don't mind, I don't like all the streaking I got. Like all of, you know, like the, I mean it's okay but I think I could do a little bit better. But do you see like the resist that you get? right here showing the white of the paper it just looks really cool and distressed and then it dries really nicely um, it's not sticky it kind of looks like it might be but it's not so it's really cool and I just wanted to show you because it's fun so let's just try it real quick and see if we can do it this time um, and then that'll be it so let's see so I just have I'm just using the one stencil here and I've got a few colors salvage patina peacock feathers let's just try them all <laughs> and I'm just gonna go in rusty hinge maybe I always am looking for a new way to distress some stuff <laughs> My favorite products ever are Distress products, and I'm really fond of this Patty Pockets glaze. It just, it really surprised me, and I just love it. I really love it. Or Patty Pocket stains, rather, sorry. And then, of course, Distress glaze is amazing. So what am I doing here? I'm just putting on color, you guys. I probably should have tried to do this a little better, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's do a little bit. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's not the best, but you know, that's okay. We're going to put some glaze on. We're going to put a lot on. Usually, you don't, you, when you use glaze, you barely put any in. <laughs> I'm going to just really glob it on. stuck under my nail that's not fun okay and I'm gonna wipe a little bit off but I want to make sure I have enough because that's how it's gonna Ew, I used a dirty rag that I cleaned the table with, so now there's hair all over it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I think I wiped too much off. I'm going to do it again. Let's try it like this. I don't know. I want to try this. <laughs> Look, I have patty pockets stuck in here from last time I used it. It's funny. Funny and not funny. I, why didn't I wash that off? I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. I really wanted to use this to see if I could get less streaking, like brush streaks. So let's see, hopefully it doesn't get crust all over it. Let's see, do I have another one? Yeah, I do. Well, that one's not any better. Let's try this. I might have used too much this time. It's not even going to cover at all. Let's see. <laughs> so you have to find a happy medium. You have to use the right amount. Like you want to use a lot, but then you want to wipe it off a little bit. Because if you put too much like I think I did, you're not going to get any of the patty pockets on there. And then it's kind of pointless. You won't see the results, I guess. Like, you won't see um, the the distinction between the paper and where it's resisting, if that makes sense. You know what I mean. See, it's just beating up. So, this is an example of too much. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can rub it in with this. Maybe if I work it a little more. So, yeah. You saw how much I used. I used a ton. That just shows you how good the micro glaze works. It does its job. <laughs> Definitely. Look at it. It's just totally resisting. That's so cool to watch. It's totally resisting the patty pocket. So that's what happens if you use a ton. Okay. It still kind of looks cool, but it's just going to be beaded up like that. And I don't know if it's going to dry like that or what. So if we keep rubbing it in, let's see what happens. Is it it'll probably just keep resisting. Yep. <laughs> It still looks cool. Let's try it again one more time. With a little a little less this time. And then but it still looks cool. We'll see how that dries in a minute. Let's put that over here. Now let's try it again. This time with a little a little bit less glaze. And my stencil on backwards, I just noticed. <laughs> Not like it matters. Alright. Let's get some contrast in there just to whatever. That is not pretty. I don't know why I couldn't do a nice job for you guys, <laughs> but okay. I just want to see if it works. That's all I'm trying to do here. Okay, so let's get the glaze on, and this time we'll use less. We'll still use a lot, but we'll wipe off a little more. So I'm using a lot, but I'm going to wipe it off a little more.
Hopefully that's enough. I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens this time. Let's start at the top. Might have used too much again. <laughs> See, if you wipe it off too much, it doesn't work at all. But if you don't wipe it off enough, or if you use too much, it just totally resists. That looks pretty cool, though. So maybe in just spots, use it in spots, maybe? I think that would probably work the best. Like down here, it started working, and I kind of messed it up. There we go. That's looking cool. Cool. <laughs> what a cool technique. It's so fun. I think this one's going to work out good. So this is what happens when you don't use enough. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> when you don't use enough glaze. The patty pockets just goes over that goes over it okay. And then this one is I would say a really good amount. I just didn't like the streaking I got, but see, you could see down here it starts to work right there. Looks pretty cool. And then I think this one's really good. This is using way too much glaze. <laughs> it just beads up. <laughs> However, if it dries like that, it might look pretty cool. Just look but it might be sticky too, I don't know yet. It's still wet. I think it looks really cool up in here, but it just looks like an accident. You know what I mean? It just looks like beaded up um, coffee, really. But if it dries like that and it's not too sticky, it might actually be really cool. So time will tell if it dries. <laughs> um, and then this is pretty good. I like this. I mean, I didn't do the best job inking. I don't know why I didn't do a good job, but I just was trying to hurry. I got too excited. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it just gives a little bit of a like... A laced look, I guess you could say. Or a web or something. I don't know. A resist look. <laughs> Alright guys, so get out your stuff and play with stuff. That's how you figure these kinds of things out. It's just fun, isn't it? Alright, thanks so much. Um, let me know if you try anything. If you have patty pockets or if you use the microglaze from Distress. Um, let me know if you guys know any fun techniques that I don't know about, whether it's with these supplies or anything else in the comments below. I would love to hear your unique techniques. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by in this quick video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.